Hello and welcome back to our renovation project where we're going to give you a bit of an update on what's been going on and hopefully make some progress towards converting our downstairs. I uh, don't think it's going to be huge progress but we'll take it anyway because progress is progress. So let's start off with a bit of an update of what's been going on recently and what is next on the list. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You look warm. It's blistering outside. It's, so it was 38 degrees Celsius yesterday. It's 38 degrees Celsius today. This is the coolest room in the house. It's but it's not very comfortable in here. No, it's going to so, be 40 next week. Yeah. That's too much. So I may as well work in the cool rather than sit on a dirt floor. It's a nice distraction. Yeah. So uh, let's have a bit of an update. Can you tell us what's been going on so and the what great we're doing news, today? The great news is the digging in the house is mostly complete. Mostly. There's some small bits left. Uh, this room, the, the middle adega, has now been done, the 45s are done. It took me five days, which is one day less than when I first did the two cylinders last year, so I'm much fitter and stronger, and it was more work in here than in there, so I'm very happy. We have some work to do with regards to services because we can't put the limecrete floor in here until we have some of our plumbing sorted. So that is our next project, is to get the plumbing sorted through this room so that we can put the limecrete floor down in here. And then while that's drying, we can do the plumbing in the selenias so that then we can also lay the limecrete floor in there. Cool. So let me show you what I mean. The old toilet, or the existing toilet, which we still use but doesn't flush, is connected to this soil pipe. Yeah. This is this is new that we put in temporarily. Yeah, it is only temporary. Because there was a combiner box down here, so we took that out, put this in temporarily. But before we put the, the, the final floor down, the subfloor down, this configuration needs to change because the new toilet will be up here. So this is one thing that needs to be done. Um, and there's also some work on the other side of this soil pipe that needs to be fixed so that th when the subfloor's in, that's fixed in place and won't move again because I don't want to have to dig it out. <laughs> the other thing, the kitchen is over here and the kitchen needs a waste pipe and water that needs to go from there through here and into the cylinder and that's where the waste will go out from there and that's where the water will come in from. As you might notice, we have this rather large stone wall and the other rather large stone wall in the way. So, <laughs> today's task, or this project, is to go through this wall. Very luckily, down here is a collection of smaller stones. So I'm just going to try and scrape out the mortar and see if I can leave her out. This wall is about 400 millimeters thick. The, the waste pipe will be going at an upward angle so that the waste water comes down, which will clear the subfloor next door, which is why in the kitchen we could put the subfloor down without any worry that we needed to put services into the subfloor. Then the pipe will run across here and we'll go down. Probably this rock is what we need to take out. I think this is one of the softer rocks. Yeah, some of them are really hard, some like granite. Some of them are granite. really hard, like these big ones. But some of the smaller ones are more like compacted clay. So then we'll go through there, again on a downward angle, because their building's actually sloped like this anyway. Um, and then into the selenia where we'll do some other magic to get it out of the house. Magic. <laughs> this wall, however, is 600 millimeters thick. Uh, so that's a bigger challenge, so Guy's going to work on that. I'm going to take the easy wall. You're going to take the easy option <laughs> for a change. Isn't bloody awkward. Not so easy. Well, it's nope. finished. Just what? See, you got the easy one. For once. For once. <laughs> uh, so, it was pretty easy because it was just full of small rocks. Oh, so, nice. I think the biggest rock was 
that one. Okay. On the other side, I just needed to pull out like two in a tiny little bit. It really helps that it's a much thinner wall. It also helps being that way around because I'm having to do it like left-handed, but I'm not left-handed. You, yeah, I guess. So. From this side, anyway. Yeah, yeah. The other side would be okay. I thought this was going to take us days. Yeah, so did I. I thought. It's funny how that happens, though, isn't it? Yeah. We, we put off stuff that we think is going to be really difficult, yeah, and, and then, then it's we do quite it. easy. For those who have been watching us long term, the lintel replacement was the same. We were just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we've never done this, oh my god, it's going to be so difficult, oh my god. And then we did it and we were like, oh, what were we so worried about? Oh yeah, no worries. No worries. Uh, so, I want to say, just to give you the perspective, oh, this uh, concrete slab is our finished, will be our finished floor level. So this pipe, I need to go and check the, the height in the other room, but it's probably going to run like that and then downhill a bit more. Uh, okay. That's more or less it. I just want to look at the other side. How yeah, we can, uh, we can show them a new addition to the house on the other side. <laughs> the shiny fridge and freezer. Look at this. We've got the tiniest freezer and the old fridge doesn't really seal, so it doesn't keep things very cold. Look at all that freezer space. Oh. Think of all the produce we can store in here. Look at the ice. Yes, the ice is very necessary. It's very today. exciting. Minus 15 degrees. Oh, I might just climb in there later. <laughs> That's the positioning of it. Again, this slab here is the finished floor, but this will be behind kitchen units. Yeah, no, it's so ideal. I actually want it to come above the slab. So that's excellent. Well, that is very good news. Uh, on the other hand, I need to keep digging, so I'm going to get back to it. It's like you're being illuminated by a ray from heaven. <laughs> It's not for my angelic properties, that's for sure. What angelic properties? <laughs> angelic. Ah, uh, yes, very good. <laughs> right, I think you need to get your big machine in here. Good. And I think we're through then. Is there enough space for two water cables? I hope so. Yeah, there's, uh, there's loads of room because they can just go in the gaps. Excellent. Can you pass me the black... Crowbar? It's called crowbar, yeah. Oh. There you go. Just this bit of rock at the end. Chipped off, but it didn't come out. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Oops, big lock. There's loads of uh, headroom there too, which is good. We should be able to Yeah, I had to go up as well as yeah, sideways. Excellent. I mean, I can see through here all the way to the hole in the other wall. Awesome. <laughs> it's much faster than I was expecting. Still exhausting. But it's all it's, exhausting. <laughs> it's all exhausting. It's just very awkward on the hands and knees. And I have no flexibility, so I can barely kneel. Uh, but it's done, which is good. So it means we can uh, start the next part. <laughs> yeah, we can we can do more work, just different work. Progress, yes. It has been so hot, it was impossible to do anything. It was over 40 degrees every day for a week. And so we decided to take some well-earned rest. But we're back in the downstairs today and we're gonna try and run some pipe through the holes in the wall that we made 
a few days ago. So maybe Kylie can talk us through the kind of pipe that we're using and the way that we're gonna go about this. Um, it's all new to us actually, so uh, I guess it's a learning experience for all of us, although not if you're a plumber with 40 years of experience. Although if you are, you probably shouldn't be watching this. Um, or maybe you just want a good laugh. Let's talk about pipe. Tell me about your pipe. Actually, let me just change the <laughs> angle because this looks... <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, good. We're back in form. Let's try that again. So we finished dry fitting the grey pipework, which I think you can see. We didn't film it because... It was too hot. Yeah, it was being a struggle. So we are running a hot feed and a cold feed from the other side of this wall, which will be our laundry slash utility, that will go through the same two holes into the kitchen to a baby little manifold and then each of the services that we need in there like the sink and the dishwasher will have their own pipe run. This is 20 millimeter um, PEX B it's called in English they call it multi camada here uh, multi-layer is another name that it is known for. It's like normal PEX, but it's got some interlayered layers on it. I don't know if you can see the different, the different layers. So there it's should be three here. layers. There's a PEX pipe, then there's like an aluminium shield, and then there is the plastic coating. And so this all helps to act as insulation and protection, so insulation to keep the water cold or keep the water hot, depending on what's running in it. It's slightly more technical, I think, than just standard PEX. Um, it also bends a little bit easier and then stays. It doesn't bounce back. I mean, there is an opportunity here to say that this pipe is quite stiff. <laughs> It's very stiff and you can really bend it hard and it won't snap. Good. <laughs> Two feeds of this and hot and cold um, in conduit. So that's the building rigs here is that you run this in the red in, sorry, the hot in a red pipe, the cold in a blue pipe because this is going to go into a sealed floor. And just in terms of this grey pipe, unfortunately we do have joins in it, which I was trying to avoid, but you really can't when you're running this length. Well, the pipes are three metres long and this room is three metres wide, yeah. so... So we have one here, which will be down in the loose fill, and we have one on the other side of this wall. Um, so we are going to PVC glue them rather than use rubber seals, and use as much glue as I can get into the hole. But yeah, we're going to dry fit these first, if everything goes, then we'll come back and glue it all up. And then Guy is going to backfill the holes in the wall and fill them in with um, stone and lime again. So that when we put the lacquer floor in, it doesn't all escape through the wall. Well, that too, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's, right. uh, enough talking, let's get to building. Ooh, it's very dark in here. It's but... very dark in here since we've done it before. Oh yeah, we covered the floor up after about a year. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Pulling gently. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Holding. Stop. How much more do you think it needs? I think that's enough. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's enough there, yeah. Can you hold it at that end while I pull it and then cut it on this end? Yes. I'll put this in the baker. We're going to need it next week for uh, yes. that one. Yeah, we will. Okay. So put it with the uh, French drain pipe. Yeah, okay. That can actually get moved. When we do the reorganization of that room, Yep, okay. Holding them together as I move. So we'll walk into that corner with it. Sure. Ready? It's got a bit of a kink in it. It's like a slinky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
should have color coded our t-shirts. You could have been hot and I could have been cold. I'm starting to understand. Uh, actually, it threads much better than I thought it would, but still not perfect. Go out the door. Yeah, I can do it. But what about all the traffic? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make sure it has a really good, good connection. Yeah, because when we're sticking it through the wall, you don't want it to get caught and then rip off. And then... No. Do we want to try and do the other one with a slightly different strategy to see if we uh, can find a better solution? Yeah, I'd say the strategy would be to try and straighten this first okay. and then just feed the thing on top. Okay, let's try so, that. So if you stop there, let it, let it go. To let it go, yeah, I got it. I got it, oh. yeah. Now you can just kind of feed it in on that end. You got it? Have you got a little bit out? Yeah. Cool, perfect. Can you also take the ends of the tape, the white tape? The white the pipe. pipe. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we've just not used it before. It's just different. It's easier than copper. Although sort of not. I don't not. know about that. <laughs> it's cheaper than copper. It's Actually, I don't know about that it's either. It's much cheaper it was, than copper. It was copper's expensive. Though. Copper's insane. Okay. Stop moving that pipe. I'm not touching it. Oh, there we go. Can you see it? Uh, oh yeah, I got it. Is there going to be enough space for another pipe? Uh, yeah. I think so. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Go. You want to pull? Yes, but slowly, because I'm going to feed it in from the outside. Okay. okay. If you can run it along the top of the grey pipe as much as possible, I should be able to see it in go. And I have it. Okay. It. All right. Slowly. Pull. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to do the same thing on the other side? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting down on my knee. This hasn't been taped. No, let's fix that. Could you enter with an upward angle? Yes, I saw it as I was laying it's down. Been taped. Oh, not here, I see. It's hot Just, out there. It is hot out there. Does the upward angle work for you? I don't know yet. That's right. If not, I'm just going to jam it in. Alright. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, but go slow because it's gonna I've got to bend it as we go in. Okay, how's that? Yeah, it's good. Just one more. No, we're in. Is that all of it? The rest is in the utility. Ah, uh, so then we just need to feed it through from there. Yeah, yeah you wanna go a bit more? Yeah. It looks okay. Just hold on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Same as the red one. You're gonna go a bit more. Okay. Okay, now we're pretty much perfect. Okay, job done. Right, that was uh, mostly successful mm. and easier than I think we both expected. Yes, but this idea that you can just pull and push pipe through the conduit, not so sure. Maybe you just need more skills. Maybe. <laughs> So what's next? Right, uh, I uh, found this in my plumbing box of magic. Very good. We are going to, so we have a join here. It's not like a uh, like a union piece, it's these pipes slot together, don't yeah. they? So it's, so it's a male into a female. Um, they have rubber rings, but we're 
we're not using the rubber rings instead we're going to cement them together then we'll do the other one and then we're going to run some water through it and just test that there's no leaks cool and then we'll be good to go so you're going to actually have to help me with this oh i can I just need you to move it into the into my room a bit more, push it a little bit. The dry pipe. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit manky, isn't it? Uh, can you get some of the other one? Yeah, yeah, sure. No, it's open already. So yesterday we used the PVC glue on the grey water and the instructions say although it sets in five minutes you should leave it 24 hours to cure which we have and now we're going to test it because the last thing I want is to have it hidden in the floor and then it leaks. So sticking this on the floor underneath the join then I'm going to go into what will be our kitchen and pour some water down the pipe. The guy's going to be in the other room collecting the water in the bucket. Once we've passed about a half a bucket's worth of water down We'll come out and check if the paper is dry, which fingers crossed it will be. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> so. So that's the the only join we've got here is yeah. is in there. Oh, there is another one actually under the. Oh, that one up there. Yeah, we should actually. Let's cut this in half. That's, uh, in a very sophisticated kind of way. That's for you. Thanks. Very technical way to test a join. Look. <laughs> We harvested onions this morning, uh, so we've got some onions, which is good. Okay. Okay, go. Yeah. Completely dry. Excellent. Next one. Also completely dry. Perfect. Good news. So I'll get these set in position and stuck in with some lime. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, that's all the pipes for this part of the room, all installed and in place, the first fix at least. And that is good news because it means that we are now one step closer to having some kind of water in and out in our ground floor. We do have more to do in this room before we lay the floor and we will show you the laying of the floor and we will show you all of the other subsequent bits and pieces that we're doing down here. We're waiting for a part in order to continue on. It's relating to our grey water harvesting system backflow prevention valves, diverters and stuff like that. So we have all of that fun to look forward to in a future video. So do stick around for the next piece in the uh, renovation saga. But I think we'll wrap this up for now and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.